<laughs> how are you? I'm okay. How are you? I forgot about the entire second half of this song, <laughs> so I'm gonna stop it now. Alright. Uh, you know, what? hold on. We're gonna play this while people trickle in. There we go. That's slightly more fitting. Oh god. So, yeah, we're gonna have to wait. For, we're gonna have to wait for the sheep bot. This is from the list. Yes, Koshek the Hovering Cat. Also, Charlotte threatened me at Minecraft Pick X Point to play it. Yeah. <laughs> so... If the sheep bot's not pinging, you can just send it one yourself. Yeah, but I don't want to send a thing and then it also send a thing. It also, it does it very quickly. It's just that song was two minutes long and then I had to cut it short because it, it, it was starting to say, it was starting to swear more than I usually do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is actually important. Do you have your drink time drink? I do. I have my Lacroix right here, baby. You have a Lacroix. Oh my god! Can't believe you. I always have a Lacroix with me. Okay, hold on. I also have to increase your volume. Oh well, we already got a drink time. So open the Lacroix. Oh, it's already open. I'm. <sighs> I have a, I have a sweet tea and a water and a fork. I'm not gonna drink the fork. The fork is for making a worm on a string. Did I tell you I'm You've making been a worm? Making this worm. You've been making this for like days now. It, it's really hard. Like, and I don't actually. I haven't been like doing it constantly. It's just it's difficult because it's like, I have to wrap a bunch of yarn around a fork, and then I have to tie the yarn into two knots using another piece of yarn and then I have to cut the loops of the yarn and then I have to just put that through the, uh, the one piece of yarn that I'm using as the center actually it's a piece of like sewing thread and it looks terrible that's the problem the yarn just it doesn't look it doesn't look like a worm on a string at all it looks like a lump I'm gonna have to like trim it super hard that and I think I need a bigger fork oh there's a sheet button Oh, sheep butt, sheep butt. All right, we're just gonna start then. Custom stickers? Oh my god. I don't even know what that means. All right, we'll do that later. Oh, to be a frog on a lily pad. All right, we're good then. Oh, we can have stickers in your sheep butt channel. Yeah, but I have Ooh. to like make new ones. They're like really big emoji, basically. What I do, I guess I could just put funny sheep pictures. You could. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's a thing for later then. All right. Anyway, hey everyone. Uh, today we are playing three lesbians and a barrow, uh, which it's a visual novel. I know I said I wouldn't, but there was overwhelming want. In fact, I think I have on the document of like I have on the spreadsheet overwhelming thirst from chat. So that's this is your fault, but it's mostly Charlotte's fault. <laughs> It is my fault. I have no idea who Charlotte is, but she threatened you with arson, and I deeply respect that. Oh, I'm High Cat. I'll say yeah. something in chat. Charlotte is High Cat. High Cat is Charlotte. Oh god. No, stop playing sad music. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. So let's just get let's just, let's just do this. Uh, okay, so here's something funny. Before we get started, uh, I'm gonna have to stream this to Charlotte as well on Discord, kind of like the. Um, <laughs> yeah, you will. This Charlotte person sounds like a dweeb. Wow, get called out by Sleepy Jeff. Oh, actually, oh my god, that's that's my coworker, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, so a couple things. One, I'm gonna have to stream this to Charlotte as well. Two, the stream's gonna be short. Three, uh, when I put this in a Twitch, one of the tags that it auto generated is horror. So this might be a horror game. Oh. Interesting. So this might have more to it. I mean, it, it like when I looked it up, people said that they really liked it. So I was kind of surprised, like, oh, this might have something to it. This might have more to it than even I expected from that. So this this might be a video game. We might be it, playing... must, it might be like Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh god, if someone hangs themselves on the third act, that's gonna be really miserable. Spoilers for Doki Doki Literature Club, I guess. <laughs> that game's fucking ten years old. No one cares at this point. It's ten years old. What the fuck? It's not ten years old. It's like five years old. It's it's old. 
at this point. I was about to lose my mind. It's old enough to where I can just blatantly yell spoilers out for Doki Doki Literature Club. Sorry. I got that spoiled to me, and I'm just spreading the horribleness. Anyway, uh, let's just start this. The Okay, the intro music to this game, the title music, is fucking scary. Okay, let me just... You need to actually switch to it. And I'm, also stream it to me. I'm going to... I, I just... I'm trying to turn it on. Oh god. Okay, game. It is... It is streaming. Now, can I stream this to you? Is the game still not working? Okay, now it's working. Share your screen. It is literally not allowing it. Hold on. Oh no. You might not just be able to hear the music. Okay, share your screen. It is not... No, I'll just have to share screen one. You'll just have to look at it. Here you go. That's very unfortunate. Can you see it at least? I can see it. Okay. This music it's is... It's really fucking crusty, but I can see it. Yeah, well, yeah, it's because I'm also screaming. <laughs> this music is, like, weird. I don't know how to feel about it. I, I, I wish you could listen to it, but it's very strange. Alright, I guess we could just start. If we, uh, if there's voice acting, I'll let you know, so we don't read it. Okay. I don't think there will be. There is not voice acting. Alright, so who's going to be this character? Uh... I mean, they have a water bottle in their backpack that looks like it's filled with green juice, so... Is that a Pringles can also in their backpack? Okay, this character is definitely you. <sighs> okay. Okay, alright, fine. This is why I don't like doing visual novels, I have to fucking read. I'm still not entirely convinced you didn't only let me join your archaeology studies group because I have those nice plastic binders professor like professors like. How do I Oh I just click. I'll be her. Okay. Okay, what kind of voice should I give her? Uh I mean her name is Tabby, she has vampire fangs, and she's wearing a fifteenth century goth dress. So do you think something, like, more seductive? No, do not. No, not on stream. <laughs> I right. will get banned. Nikita, we chose to have you in our group because we thought you'd be a valuable asset to the team. You're a very talented essay writer. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm going to do this one. I thought you just took pity on her because no one else would go with her. <laughs> okay. No. We voted, remember? We both chose her. I mean, I vetoed. You abstained, Trixie. That's not the same thing as a veto. Nikita got 100% of the cast votes. I don't need your sympathy. I work better alone. There's less dead weight. Wow. <laughs> These fucking Johnny Test ass whip sound effects. <laughs> I, I can't even hear it. <laughs> there, okay, there's Johnny Test whip sound effects. That's all you get to know. Well, you're with us now, Nikita. So let's try to work together. Uh-huh, sure. You two can do whatever you want when you work, and I'll put my earplugs in and do the important stuff. Aw, oh, come on, Nikita. You might enjoy a company if you just try. I had quite enough of Trixie's company during the summer. As And for you... Your competition. Are you ready? <laughs> I almost said ready. Are you really <laughs> still upset about me competing with your... S that, 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 I can't fucking speak. Competing <laughs> with you for student presidency. See, it's hard. Oh Reading's God. hard. I'm already, like, fucking up. <laughs> upset? Me? Never. Anyway, we should get to work. We need to write up our observations about this barrow as soon as possible, or we'll miss the last bus home. Oh, this is like a Skyrim barrow. Yeah. I was. I thought it was just a home. I thought it was like no, Redwall. No, no. That's uh, a burrow. I'm an idiot. This is so pointless. Can't we just look this place up in the barrow book or on the internet like normal people? It's called the Barrow Census Tricky, and if you've been paying attention, you'd know full well half of the Blue Ridge Dawn Barrows are basically recorded only so far as they exist. It is our duty as archaeology... We aren't archaeology students. It's our duty as students studying, among other things, archaeology, to help document this place to get some vital experience in runic translating, observation, and record-keeping skills. 
Uh huh. Yep, and we should probably get on with that instead of arguing, right, girls? Quite. Do you two think it's weird that the Barrow Census lists this place as sealed? It looks pretty open to me. Hmm. A misprint, most likely. Or a grave robber. Oh! Or a ghost? No. <laughs> a misprint. I did account for this when I filed my health and safety analysis, so legally we're allowed to go inside. In the pursuit of knowledge, safety is never guaranteed. We were meant to fill those forms out. Trixie Glimmer Smith, if we lose marks because you neglected to fill out your paperwork, I will fucking end you. You the can't. The sexual tension between all these characters is like palpable. I mean, you can't just call someone their full name if you like know them as a coworker. That is reserved. Oh, whatever. Be nice, Nikita. It'll be fine. The carvings next to the door look like a good place to start our report. They might tell us who was buried here. Yeah, good thinking, Tabby. The writing looks like South Anglian Runic, right? Trixie, please, that is definitely South Anglian Runic. Tabitha, you did the required reading. Bessie Flopsmore's South Anglian Runic for Clever Girls 1971 edition by Bessie Flopsmore. Correct? I hate this character already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, not yet. I've been really busy this week with my sheep rescue charity work. Sorry, Nikita. Thanks for rescuing me from falling off that cliff. <laughs> I have it with me, though. No worry. You, you, you didn't read it before coming here? <laughs> what kind of person wouldn't do required reading? It's required for a reason. Ugh, you two are useless. Hey, calm down, Nikita. Jeez, just look how short it is. It won't take long. I'll start reading it now. Then I can work out what these runes say. Oh, oh god. Tabby can investigate various objects. This rock. Actions. Oh shit. Wow, Actions I guess we're Tabby. Like Stone. The, Tabby's the main character. I don't know how to read this. It's really this is mine! Ah! Shut the fuck up. Ah! I don't know how to read this. It's really complicated. Maybe I should have a look at the translation guide. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> An introduction to basic translation guide. Part one, an introduction to basic translation guide. Oh, read. All right, we did it. We read it. We read it. That seemed to cover... <laughs> that seemed... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This is mine. <laughs> that seemed to cover most of the basic stuff. Identifying simple runes, the alphabet system, word guides. Wow, this is a game for you. It has, like, linguistics. Oh my god. <laughs> I should be able to translate those runes. If now. this actually starts going into linguistic puzzles, I'm stopping the stream and you can just stream no. it on your own. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. <laughs> I have a degree in linguistics. Wow. I'm well, just my minor. Whatever. Let's re I mean, you still have a degree in it. That counts. It's more than I have. I'll read this part later. Uh, okay. I'll read this part later. Okay. Then we're just not going to read any of it, then. I'm going to look at this thing. Oh. Looks like you made the name Mary. of the bear, but someone's carved over it. Read. This tablet looks like it names the barrow, but someone seems to have vandalized the original text. This place was originally called Fog's Bane Barrow? The second set of runes says a rot prison. It looks like it was carved into the stone much later than the first name. Strange. Very odd. What do you two think of this? That is pretty weird. I really don't like the sound of rot prison. That sounds like your bedroom, Trixie. I'd have thought you might feel at home. Christ! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Play nice, you two. Uh, well, I mean, if it's keeping all the rot in there, that's fine. This looks like it might be a warning of some kind. Read. Take heed those who enter this place. Do not enter this place to begin with. For inside looks an evil unmatched. The gloom of this barrow is the domain of rot, of decay, of malevolence. 
Leave it be, for if left undisturbed, the world remains safe. Kaka! Remain outside, for inside this tomb is death. Beware, ever rot time dust. That is, that is, you can't inside just. Inside this tomb is death. That tends to be how tombs work. <laughs> uh. Literally just walked in and saw some cartoon cat lady because I left this page open. What is happening? Oh, the viewers wanted me to do a visual novel. Rather, they wanted me to do this one, and Charlotte helped me. Specifically, I wanted you to do this visual novel. Yeah. Beware the immortal warlock! Y yikes, sis. That's a nope from me. Shut the fuck up, Trixie! <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a warning. That's pretty spooky. I want to fucking kill Nikita. <laughs> a lot of these old barrows have... <laughs> a lot of these old barrows have them, though. <laughs> They're just to scare off grave robbers and stuff. You two don't need to act so scared. They just wrote these to scare people off. Let's go to move on. We don't have all day. <laughs> I, I didn't even have enough time to read that. I didn't even skip it. The game auto-skipped it. Whenever that happens, I'm not doing that. I, I know, I know. Click the continue button to finish investigating. Oh, it's, it's like, like an old continue. Flash game. <laughs> continue? No. I'm gonna save, actually. Oh, god. Alright, we'll save here. <laughs> Look at how many fucking saves we have. Look at them! Look at how many we can have! Look at this! How many- how big is this game? It goes past nine! I looked it up and it was said it was only like a three hour game. Oh my god, okay. Continue, yes. Huh. Well then. This place is freaking creepy. Freaking schwaint lawish. No, it isn't. It's all made up. We should explore the interior. It makes for some excellent writing. We'll be getting first on this report for sure. I agree. It's probably full of really interesting stuff. As long as we don't catch corpse rot from any of the skeletons. Is that a thing? Trixie, promise not to touch on these skeletons, okay? Why are you singling me out with that? Anyway, I'm... I'm not sure I want to go inside the fucked up rot tomb. It sounds like a good way to get cursed or, I don't know, trapped inside when the ceiling falls in. I spend a lot of time in Barrows during the witching season. The witching season? Of course. <laughs> they can be surprisingly sturdy. Uh, the witching season? You mean the 13th to the 31st of October? Do you actually... Is that a thing? No, it's not. The witching season, I think, is... I think it's just fall. Uh -huh. I have no idea, though. Yeah, <laughs> Lawash, I'm afraid. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's weird. You're weird, Tabitha. Shut up, Nikita. Oh, come on, be brave, to trade the Trixie. I'll be there with you. And so will Nikita. If you haven't fucking deduced already, I cannot speak. No, that's that's perfectly fine. I will not make fun of you for not speaking. Only if I don't have to hold her hand. I really don't want you to hold my hand, Nikita. I want them to hold hands. <laughs> Good, I don't want to hold your hand either, Smith. Let's take a look inside. This is the... Worst D&D &D investigation group. Oh. Wow, it's so musty in here. Ugh. It looks like this is the entrance chamber. I mean, obviously. That must be the burial chamber through that doorway. Great. Looks like they use this room to record the life of whoever lived here. Although, look at this. The original room seemed to have been scraped away and replaced with new ones. Second row, too. Looks like they're totally different handwriting to the top row. This place seems to have a strange story, huh? Do they reuse barrows? I... I guess they do. Why would someone write over the original runes? Did they make a mistake originally? I suppose erasers don't really work when you're carving in a stone. Maybe they recycled the barrow, put someone new in it, and had to rewrite everything. In the second row? I'm not sure, and this is very strange. Hey, check this out. It's like a special thing. It looks like a bird weaving to me, Trixie. A bird weaving. I guess that's what this thing, this, this hexagon in the corner, this stop it's sign. It's in surprisingly good condition, too. They must have preserved it in special oils or something. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Shame none of us know how to read it. 
Hmm? Well, we spent months learning to read the bird weavings last year, Trixie. Professor Petal's class, remember? I don't think I turned up for any of those. I continue to be impressed with my ability to stop you being thrown out of university, Trixie. Though I must admit that even with my generous abilities, it can be a strain. Hey, I'm not making you bail me out. You know, if I wasn't there, you'd have no one to be a bitch to. Jesus and being Christ. nice, Trixie. I struggle with her name so much. Be nice, Trixie. I'm sure Nikita values your company as a friend. King Tut's tomb was originally meant for someone different. They didn't have time to finish the original one. Ah. As for the weaving, I can read it easily enough, even if it's a little worse for wear. God, the whip sound effects are like too much. Oh. This weaving speaks of an arcane ritual that shall seal this rot prison. It was weaved in haste to protect us from the evil ever rot time dust. Pray that it shall not be heated again, oh, needed again. But if by some tragedy it is, you must follow these instructions before it is too late. Skrrt! Sp really? Speak these sounds and words. Bree, scree, v v be sealed away, ye monster, be sealed away, ye rot. Commanded you are by those who fought you. Indecipherable, they who first weaved this ritual. Indecipherable, first united us three. Delion Defti, he who first forced you into retreat. Brewood Cracked Antler and uh, united in their duty to rid the world of your evil. I like your sound effects. <laughs> indecipherable dust and indecipherable the elements who you have defied. I didn't say stop. What? I had sound effects? <laughs> I think it's had sound effects that you're making for the indecipherable. I could be wrong. Oh, I was just saying it. Oh, maybe I was going ant, ant dust, and ant the elements <laughs> you have defied. Bree, bree, caca, ca, scree, caca. <laughs> Flap your wings thrice, and the ritual's complete. Good work, my friend. Caca! What? It's a spell. You're right, Trixie. It sounds like a spell. I have a spell, you mean? Some of it was missing. I mean, sure, but it was pretty interesting. That's pretty spooky, though. It was all about sealing something evil away. Rot, I guess. Whatever that means. That must be why this is the rot prison. Yeah, scary. You two are cowards. I'm gonna go look around at the burial chamber. Don't kiss any dead skeletons. This isn't your weird smut, Trixie. No one actually kisses skeletons. Hold on. Nobody. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Have fun. Look at these runes, though. We're gonna have our work cut out reading them. Hmm, especially since they seem kind of damaged and messy. A lot of it seems to be a regional dialect, too, which is a pain. Mm, upstate New York? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> but nothing too difficult. Maybe it'll tell us what all that stuff about sealing away evil was about. I can't help but notice there aren't any skeletons back here in the barrow where skeletons are supposed to be kept. Be kept. It's kind of objectifying, Nikita. Those are dead people you're talking about. Emphasis on the dead, Trixie. Skeletons are objects, and these ones are missing. I guess this place did get grave robbed at some point. It's scary. I hope they don't come back. Why would they come back? To put the skeletons back? To the empty pit in the ground? I doubt it, Tabitha. Maybe the dead skeletons went for a walk. The vengeful dead. Trixie finished fiddling with something on the ground. As she marched back over to me, she clumsily kicked a small rock, which uh, spun gracefully through the air and struck the large stone door of the barrow. I guess I should be reading this, because this is um, my character that's, like, internal monologuing. Oh, okay. Read you it, then. Read it. <laughs> you already read it. Okay. The large, apparently incredibly precariously held open stone door of the barrow... <laughs> Was that? The door, yes. Okay, that's not good. Did Trixie seriously just seal us here with her clumsiness? No, that, that's true. I was Trixie. What? Fuck off, Nikita. No. There's no way that rock did that. It was a coincidence. Maybe the wind blew the rock over? The wind, Trixie, blowing a stone door closed. Maybe, like, if it... Friction? No. No, Trixie, I'm pretty sure it's just your fault. Tabitha, allow me. 
Trixie, that was 100% your fuck up as usual. Be nice. Hey, maybe it's not Trixie's fault. Maybe it was magic. <laughs> My psycho crystal certainly feels strange, like a bad day. Is, is, is we in Warhammer? Is this Warhammer? That, oh, uh, I hope this isn't anything magical. I've had more than enough magical experiences with you recently, Nikita. Oh, you've had a magical experience with Nikita? No, no, sorry, I think I misspoke. Uh, okay. Look, Nikita, can we have a quiet word about Summer? Trixie started to march over to the burial chamber where Nikita was still poking about. No. You don't think we should get our story straight? As she stormed towards the apparently skeletonless burial chamber, Trixie clumsily kicked a small <laughs> rock, which spun gracefully through the air and struck the ceiling of the barrow just in front of the doorway separating us from Nikita. The apparently incredibly poorly constructed <laughs> ceiling of the barrow. How? Oops. Trixie Glimmer Smith. <laughs> we couldn't see her throughout the rubble, but the sound of Nikita's foot stomping on the hard ground echoed through the barrow. Stomp, stomp, stomp. It wasn't hard to guess she was imagining Trixie's face under her boots. Kinky. Oh, great. I'm in for it now. Are you fucking serious, Trixie? You complete cretin! Ah! Why does everything you do fuck me over? First that book, then kicking that rock, now that- I mean, to be fair, you were just kicking a rock again. Kicking another rock?! You better find a way to get me out of here so I can break your fucking legs! Jesus Christ. Jeez, I'm sorry, Nikita. It's not like I meant to trap you in there. Baka. <laughs> Though, uh, I do kind of like that I did. Girls, can you two not fight, please? This is an incredibly contrived situation, is serious. Oh, thanks for piping up, little Miss Sanctimonious. Are you okay in there, Nikita? Can you see anything? No, not really. It's dark. Crap. Crap. Uh, there's a lot of rubble. Whoever built this place is really depending on the ceiling not getting hit by any small pebbles. I mean, that's just every single building if you really think about it. Look, don't worry, Nikita. We'll get out of here and get some help. Trixie, come help me get this door open. Tabby, my upper body strength is pretty poor. I'm not sure I'll be much use. Just try. Tr Trixie was right. She wasn't much help. The large rock door would not budge more than an inch. Oh, it budged an inch, though. Ugh. It's too heavy. We nearly got it moving. We might just need a little more strength. If only Nikita hadn't accidentally gotten trapped behind that debris. Excuse me! Ugh, so we're trapped in here until you dig me out? Well, fortunately for all of us, I wrote that this was a possibility when I filled out the offsite health and safety forms, so we shan't be losing any marks. Nice one. Thinking ahead as usual, Nikita. <laughs> Calling it now. There is no monster. The monster is themselves. <laughs> that really helps us now, Nikita. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> We're going to have to dig Nikita out. Then we can use teamwork to get that door open. D dig? Like, lift rocks? With my hands? Tabby, I struggled to pick up my backpack. How am I supposed to pick up rocks? You saw how weak I was when I pushed the door. I mean, I'll help too, Trixie. We can take turns. It probably won't take too long. We can be out of here in maybe a day or two. Day or two? Two days! Tabitha, I am not rotting away in this pit for almost a week because of Trixie. You two better get digging. Ugh, I'm so glad I brought a copy of the dictionary with me. Fuck you. Nikita, two days is not almost a week. Don't try to guilt Trixie. What if we just leave you in there and leave? Sealing you in a tomb was an accident. A happy one. Look, you can dig from your side, Nikita. It won't take too long to get you out of there. Me? I didn't make this mess. I'm not digging Trixie out of her own holes anymore. In this case, literally. Uh, Nikita, come on. You're seriously going to extend the amount of time you have to sit in the dark by yourself just to spite Trixie? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. This is her mess. She has to clean it up like a good girl. Oh. I cleaning up the good girl already this early into the VM. I cleaned up your mess during the summer, Nikita. <laughs> Johnny test whip.sfx. Cool. No. Besides, one of the rocks hit me when it fell. It hurt my hands. My hand hurts slightly. Fine, Nikita. Kind of wish I'd read that note paper I found before we get trapped in here. Just in case it was a warning telling us to leave immediately, you know? Not that the big warning literally carved in stone outside stopped us. Note paper? Oh, I forgot to mention it, huh? Hey, look, I was going to, but we were king of king? I think it's supposed to be kind. kind. Yeah, we were kind of preoccupied with the whole catastrophic cave-in situation. I didn't think a random piece of paper was that important. Look, you can read it now, Tabby, if you want. I'll have a peek. Blood rot? How? That was the question that led me to this place. How? I was so young. What cruel force had deemed this fate necessary? What evil had put this decay into my veins? Blood rot, a disease so rare it took the doctors almost a year to diagnose. A disease that isn't found outside of the... <laughs> Isn't found outside of a few unsubmerged serpent ruins remaining atop the rocky islands. Blood rot. How? It wasn't long before I snapped out of my pointless oppression. How I had gotten this disease was irrelevant. How I would escape it was the only question worth my time now. I had so much still to give this world. My academic work couldn't be left incomplete. There are few enough studying the old legends and the occult without me disappearing from the field. Though, there were moments where I wondered if perhaps it was these very studies that had led to my damnation. Moments that were, thankfully, few and often quickly forgotten. And my life so cruelly cut short. I had not yet glimpsed the azure seas of Hawaii, the sunken temples of America, the crater of ash, fumes, and lava at the heart of Sibaria. There, to... <laughs> there had to be some way to avoid this fate. I recalled a tale, an ancient legend, and a mortal warlock in the mists. I needed to understand. Could such a figure be real? Desperately, I had searched for information, but there was none. No traditional history book spoke of him as more than a childish legend. But there was one person who could help. A servant of the moon, so the story said. Only they could get me the information I needed in one of their many forbidden tomes. It took some of the time to meet this figure. I remained skeptical of their claims of lunar servitude, but they were helpful nonetheless. The book they delivered- this is a very big note, by the way. The book they delivered to me was a horrific thing. I refused to read most of it. Burning the pages- why? Burning the pages, only those that seemed relevant to me were left. Why would you do that? Everot Time Dust was real. I was sure of this fact by the time my reading was complete. He was alive, yet sealed away forever in the barrow he had made his home. The barrow's location, however, was unclear. The day I finished my reading, I coughed up black blood, ruining the few pages I still held on to. My time was running out. Also, Jeff said in chat, I, I want the fox drawing to tell me everything's going to be okay. <laughs> 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 this paper looks pretty new. It can't have been left here more than a month or two. It's scary. Goodness, I don't like where this is going. So we're all gonna die of like blood rot, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of sad though. Jeepers. It must have been it must be really scary finding out you're sick. Seriously, I can't imagine what I'd do in that situation. They spoke about releasing an immortal warlock from this place. The one the one the warning spoke about. They say this so casually, it's almost like, don't go to the 7-Eleven at 3am or you'll release an immortal oh, warlock God. from behind the four locos. Don't don't call a Mogus at 3am. <laughs> or this will happen. I called Sans Undertale at 3am. Oh my god, is that Sans? Uh, 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 hello? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't think they succeeded, do you? I hope not. Goodness, maybe that spell could just be what we need right now. If only it wasn't so badly damaged. You two are such babies. They probably just heard the same silly story warning. The same silly story the warning was about. It's all nonsense. So Nikita's dying first, right? Uh, I mean, you know. Either I everyone's... Could... Sorry, go on. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Either everyone's dying or no one's dying. 
I wish I could be as certain about that as you are, Nikita. Nikita's, <laughs> Nikita's dying first. G food in chat. I mean, the story is very relatable. I often release immortal warlocks from this place. Don't call Ernest Weed at 3 a.m. He'd get pissed. I mean, not like 3 a.m. isn't that late for me, but I, I wouldn't be very happy if someone somehow got my phone number. That'd be more irritating than me being called at 3 a.m. Also, Charlotte is a dealer putting me onto the free sample of the sub. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, now you get funny sheep emotes. If you, if you, and frog. Oh, we do have frogs. That's right. This looks like the only page. Unless, unless is there fingers any fingers together. <laughs> is there any more of this in there with you, Nikita? It sounds important. My man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for following. Someone followed. I didn't see it. Hold on. <laughs> It was Jeff. I'm sleepy Jeff. Thank you for following. <laughs> there might be. There might be. There are two more pages here. I'm not giving you them, though. Not until you get me out of here. What? Look, no offense, you two, but you'll be more made to motivated. You'll be more, moti more motivated. I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna be me. You'll be more motivated to get me out of here if there's a treat in it for you. Think of it like teaching a pet to behave. Wow, you're the worst. That's kinky. You're such a jerk, Nikita. Yeah, besides, we're digging it out anyway. We need you to help us get that door open, remember? Finally, you have the next page if you two behave and get rid of most of this rubble. This is so demeaning. You like it really, Smith. I know your type. Johnny Test whip sound effect. Ugh, I don't like this. Also, we already know who's the top and who's the bottom. Yes. I just feel like this whole situation is unnatural. You heard what that diary page said, right? The top is the Immortal Warlock. The bottom is also the Immortal Warlock. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't shake the feeling that there must be something more going on here. And these runes, the spell, if this place is really cursed or whatever, they might be the only way we're getting out of here alive. Is, is magic like an established thing in this setting? I think my character is just like a, like a... Uh, an, an occult fanatic. Oh, what's the word? Wicca. Ah. Uh, she's a witch or something. Big twist. Tabby is the immortal warlock. Uh -huh. Why would you squish my frog? Why? <laughs> she might have a point. It isn't that unbelievable, Nikita. You remember, you know... No. No. No, you don't. I'm not sitting here dying from lack of oxygen only to read silly wall stories and silly bird spells. Get digging. But Nikita, don't you think maybe this is the kind of situation where silly wall stories are reality? No. Dig. Me. Out. Fine. I'll dig you out, jeez. Me and Tracy can take in, in turns. I'll go first, that way I can just get it over with. And because I can just move all the small rocks around the edge. Sure thing, I'll take a look around the room. <laughs> Frog died from being squished. <laughs> it's like oh be remembered. What, can you just make a ghost? Oh, it's like, oh, it's black and white, I see. Oh god, okay. Look at all this stuff. I'm gonna save. Errit. Alright, cool. Oh man, I can see both pixels in this stream. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, I can- hold on, I think I can fix it. Give me a second. Can you change it to be clarity rather than frames per second? I know that's yeah, an option in on. Discord. How do I- How do I- alright, hold on. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna start. Uh, screen- screen one. Uh, resolution, oh, stream quality, better text readability. Yeah, do that, because I actually need to read. Alright, can you see? Is this better? Uh, yep, that is much, much better. Okay, so we have all this stuff. We have a funny, like, Mickey Mouse ghost book. We don't have any limited amount of uses, so like... Okay, nothing. What in the world is all of this? This is so the much lore. Wars. An introduction into South Anglia during the Copper Age. 
I think we should read it back to front in reverse. Why? An introduction into South Ang Anglia during the Copper Age. Oh. Oh, read. Uh, an introduction reading, to reading, South... Reading. What? Uh, what do you want? I was just going to say reading, 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 because I thought it was just going to fade to black and come oh. back. An introduction in South Anglia during the Copper Age. The Blue Hills region was well populated even in early Anglian history. The Copper Age marked the first time the history was properly recorded in anything other than bird legends, a famously unreliable source. This population gave rise to numerous clans, each centered around one or two settlements. These settlements were typically structured around a central hut for the clan's leadership with a wooden wall and ditch surrounding the majority of the... This is someone's D&D &D world backstory. Rarely, these settlements would also include a bird grove where the settlement's birds and inhabitants could live there in their natural environment. That said, most birds remained living in birdle settlements. Blue Hills was the home of many during this period, with Caw Caw Bree Tree being the most notable. Okay, so these are like furry birds, not like... Uh, I'm going crazy. Folklore varied greatly settlement to settlement, but with few exceptions, all considered the world to be based on a set of key elements, <laughs> the most important of which was time. Time, it was said, in what had brought them into being to begin with, and what would one day turn them to dust, the final element, and bring them out of this world to whatever lay beyond. Indeed, it was the life cycle that these elements were rooted in, and which were treated with utmost respect. Those who sought to pervert the sanctity of this cycle were deviants, worthy of the most fearsome scorn. Accusations of necromancy and immortality magic were frequently used as weapons, with which to remove political enemies or even just unruly neighbors. Huh. I think I know one of the missing elements from that spell now. Exciting. Oh. Hold on. I need to... I need to... I need to... I need to... There. This song is like on a three second loop and I can't <laughs> listen to it anymore. Play your own music in the back. I don't... Uh, I don't know what I could play and I'm worried about copyright issues. I could play Dragon Quest music. <laughs> you could. Actually, hold up. Let me see what I have. <laughs> Jeff is like, be careful. You could might you might run out of saves. I don't think that's physically possible. Uh, I have a uh, Starbound music. Let's see. What have I got here? I have. I love engaging in storytelling by having to read white text on a black screen. Yeah, me too, Jeff. Yeah. Let's see. What can I listen to? Uh, I have the RimWorld soundtrack. I have Polybridge. Actually, I don't have Polybridge. G Food, what is this? I'm not. I'm not listening to this. Did G Food send you something? I have the Spyro the Dragon entire OST. Fuck it, we're playing that. There. All right. <clears throat> okay. Oh man, Starbound. That's a throwback. I remember that game getting so much hype, and then it was uh. No, Not Starbound good. is bad, and I feel bad Remember about it. Remember when it was better in the beta than it was like after release? All right. Remember Pro how they made it worse with every update? I have an idea. Let's play another game, and the music will be different. No, we're playing this game. Screw you. <laughs> All right, part two: the Copper Wars. The Copper Wars. Read. I can read this one. Okay. The Copper Wars. What if it just ended? What if like that was the whole thing? <laughs> With the discovery of copper working, conflicts broke out between the many clans of South Anglia, all aiming to control the copper ore that littered the region, most notably under what is now called North Acres. Historians estimate over 300 individual clans took part in these wars, with many forming and breaking apart throughout the period. Many of their names are lost to us, but there are some whose names still live on today. The Springwater Clan of the Sol Solent, the Thorns of the Black Wood, the Bone Dust em Emerald Eater, skip it. Emerald Eater, Emerald clan. Eater, <laughs> Emerald Eater Clan of the Southfields, Emerald Eater. Arguably, the greatest of these clans is the Cracked Antler Clan of the South. Now, the area around modern-day Southpot. Ah led by a succession of shrewd and often cruel leaders this clan defeated all those who met them in pitched battle though largely seemed happy to defend their own territory rather than strike out ah. 
This clan seemingly disappeared towards the end of the South Anglian Copper Wars during a march a march through Blue Door <laughs> Blue Downs, some twenty miles north of modern Blue Hills Town. Spooky. I can't speak. <laughs> What they were doing there is unknown, though it has been suggested that they sought out an enemy of their clan. An exile, perhaps, for this did occur shortly after a coup led by Moss Thistleberry Spark. These <laughs> names. <laughs> they sound like, um... Redwall names. They really the sound like... The leader of the Cracked Antler Clan. Oh. This led to the Daffodil Clan, the northern neighbor of the Cracked Antler Clan, becoming the main power in the south. Oh. It sounds like warrior cat shit. Yeah, it really does. As the Copper Wars died down, they went on to found the settlement that would later become Blue Hills Town. The Copper Wars were a time of little recorded history, but of many spoken myths. Some of these passed down long enough to be recorded in various Dark Age compendiums. The tale of an immortal fox who was said to terrorize the clans being the most famous. Some even theorize that it was he who destroyed the cracked antler clan. Though this story is based... Based on what? On little evidence. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Based on the hardware that's installed in it. Wow. That immortal fox story sounds familiar. Wow, looks in mirror. That wasn't super helpful, though. These history books are always so dismissive of this kind of thing. Maybe it's best to trust the writing on the wall. Uh, also, I'm sorry for crunching a bottle in everyone's ear. Oh god, no! Uh, speaking of Minecraft, when is your mandatory stream or hardcore playthrough gonna start? No. Um, that's- no. I'm not doing that because it's- it's a funny haha -ha streamer meme. And those are. Unexist, why not furries? <laughs> I, well, unexist, I want you to look at the, the, the channel logo. I want you to look at the channel emotes. I want you to look at the room around you. I want you to look at the co host uh, Twitch profile. Unexist, I want you to sit down. This is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> why aren't you a furry yet, honestly? Uh, Alright. Um, the end of the Copper Wars and the Imperial Invasion. Okay, I'm going to read this one. The end of the Copper Wars of the Imperial Invasion. I think I need a break for now. I'm, oh, I'm gonna fucking obliterate you. <laughs> Fine, I'm gonna just on. suplex hold you on, into hold the on. sun. Here, hold on, hold on. There you go. I think I need a break for now. <laughs> because you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like some kind of bizarre evil boast. I think I need a break for now. What, you just gonna like pull rocks? I think I need a break for now. What, like... What, 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 what kind of break? Oh, okay, what, what, do you, what do you want me to do? Can we... Click on this? I, what no. about the rocks? What, did you try that? I, yeah, I said I think I need a break for now. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna, really? I'm gonna save oh, I think I think I think you need to click the arrow. I think that's what it is. Okay. Oh. Continue. I think I need a break for now. <laughs> I don't like this place. <laughs> Prison. Blah. Horrible. Yeah, this place is freaky. Freaky deaky. I mean, the runes and stuff. None of it seems positive. It's creepy. Go ahead. Be negative. Ugh, can we just focus on, you know, ding me out of here so I can help you two pathetic weaklings open the door? Shut the fuck, Nikita. We should just, like, leave you in there. Look, we can't both dig. Too many cooks and all that, you know? We'll have you out soon. I promise, Nikita. There's nothing to worry about. I hope. How long does it take to die from starvation? I start to feel hungry about ten minutes after I last scoffed a high sugar snack. So I'm guessing, like, a day? Are you serious, Trixie? You're not going to starve from not eating a snack for a whole day, you fucking fool. Nikki, you're not being nice. You absolute buffoon. You'll be fine, Trixie. It takes weeks to starve. I think. We'll be, um, in bed eating snacks by then. In my bed? What? 
our own beds, I would imagine. Unless we have a sleepover. Snack sleepover. Oh. I made some sandwiches. I suppose I could share those. They won't last long, though. What about you two? Do you have enough rations? No, I didn't have enough gold to buy rations. Probably have enough really? toffee millet bars, biscuits, and tea to last just over a week if I'm conservative. Which, of course, I endeavor to always be. I packed enough junk food for like two days. That's great, you two. I told you things aren't so bleak. What the fuck is a toffee millet bar? Is that a thing? I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna look it up. Yeah, so... I ate my snacks already on the bus here. Fucking seriously? You're not having any of mine. Oh, Trixie. We can split mine. No, Tabby, let her perish. She brought this on herself. Then again, I don't want us to be automatic. I don't want us. Yeah, I don't want us to automatically pass just because Trixie starves. I don't accept participation trophies. Christ! Fine, you can have some of mine, but I get dibs on the nice stuff. Nikita managed to pass some biscuits through the gap in the debris. It was pretty impressive considering how thick the rubble was. Naturally, Trixie immediately scoffed them down. Did she just? Tabitha, did she just eat all of her rations? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. What? The girl's got a crunch. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely you. <laughs> that was supposed to last until we escaped, Trixie, you bumbling idiot. Oh, sorry, can I have some more? No! Not until you actually start wasting away. You proved you can't be trusted with snacks. Well, can I have some of your tea at least? Those biscuits were kind of dry. Ah! You know what? Fine, Trixie. If it stops you whining, have some tea. After a moment of silence, some lukewarm tea trickled out from under the rolling oh, little stream. Gross. Oh, um, Nikita. It's all over the floor. Oh, believe me, it was intentional. You can lap it up if you want. Ugh. Jeez, Nikita, are you getting off on this? Nikita, Trixie, please stop being mean to each other. I can't handle this level of hostility right now. If we're going to be trapped together a few for the, 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 the if we're gonna be trapped together for a few days, let's try to get it on. Hey, I mean Nikita was is trapped separately. <sighs> I'm actually pretty tempted to drink that tea. Don't drink that, sweetie. It's tomb juice now. Tomb juice. Oh, okay. Look, it's been a long day, we're all kind of tired, and two-thirds of us are grumpy. Maybe we should take a nap for the night, and we, then we can get back to digging tomorrow. You're seriously gonna sleep instead of helping me? Yeah? Hey, you're the one refusing to dig. Crunch. Fuck you, Smith. What's the plan then, Tabby? Bedtime? Mm, I mean... I don't know about you, Trix, but I'm not that sleepy. I'm playing Spire music because there was like a one music track, and it was it was on like a two minute loop, so I had to I had to switch it up. It was kind of driving me crazy. I guess we can just talk for a while. How does that sound, Nikita? Awful. I think I might die. Hey, so you mentioned having a sleepover earlier, Tabby. I mean, this is kind of like a sleepover. We could, huh? I have been to a girly sleepover before. What do you do on one? Oh, I know. It's all scary stories. That's what they do in films. Spooky stories are fun. Especially at night. <laughs> at night. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, oh, no, I you couldn't read. It. I couldn't read it. I didn't even touch it. Can I, like... Can I go back? Oh, yeah. I think you can. Go back. I, I don't want to... Press back. Okay. Spooky stories are fun. Yeah, I love spooky especially. stories, especially they're like all red. I can't read it. It's too short. Something, I saw the word about smut. smut. Smut about monster girls. They're basically all I read. She she reads monster girl hentai. I don't like spooky stories. They're all made up. I'm a stick in the mud. That's my whole character. What's the point of a made up story? <laughs> what the fuck? It's art, Nikita. <laughs> you probably wouldn't understand. It's called hentai, and it's art. <laughs> Oh, we could. Oh, oh. Let's let's tell one. Let's tell one. Us? Yeah, yeah. Us. So that's well. That's you. Yeah, I'll tell a scary story. No, but that's your character. Like we we pick which I character. Know. I know us. 
We could we could force Nikita to try to tell one. Hold on, I'm gonna actually save here, because then we and can do all the options. Yes. All right. I'll tell a, the, 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 I'll tell a scary story and probably stumble over my fucking words the entire time. Yes. Exciting. This is a story about our own Bluebell University. Do you want some Bluebell ice cream? <laughs> it is a story about why the professors often give each other dark, annoying looks. Well, they think we can't see them. I think the professors just hate each other. <laughs> and it is a story that explains why the library is now closed. What kind of university doesn't have a fucking life hello it's closed forever, forever. Ah! nikita are you all right the library shut forever when i could swear it was open yesterday no nikita this is a story it isn't real <laughs> i can't believe you make up such a cruel lie you must really hate me uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway, oh it all God. began when my psycho crystal started feeling weird on that sunny summer's morning. Oh boy. Its vibrations had been sporadic and sick. Is this the same psycho crystal story that has Made in China written on it? Oh, is it the same psycho crystal that has Made in China written on it? it yes. Why does it have that written on it? I don't know. That's one of nature's <laughs> mysteries. It's so Are you sure it wasn't just made in China? Uh, no. Nikita, can you shut the fuck up? I want to listen to Tabby's story. Tabby's story is built on a sandy desert of deceit. It doesn't make any sense. I can't even remember what my story anymore. I'm bored. You only have yourself to blame for that, Nikita. So, what's next on the sleepover agenda? Rock fight. <laughs> are, are we going to go back and see other people's stories? Yeah, I kind of want to do that. Hold up. It's, uh, how do I... Can I, like... There we go. Yeah, I want to see what the other stories are. Load. Loading will lose unsaved progress. Yes. All right. Who next? Trixie? Nikita? Uh, let's just go down the list. Eeny, meeny, miny, Trixie. Do you have a spooky story to tell, Trixie? I know you love them. Oh, I mean, I sure do. Sure I do. <sighs> I was thinking, though, maybe instead of a spooky story, we could play a game. I've been playing Fungeons and Dungeons with my gay friends. It's pretty fun. And I can remember, like, most of the rules. What is Fungeons oh, and Dungeons? Exciting. I love that game. We can use the dice app on my phone. <laughs> Father, I cannot click the book. <laughs> Sorry. Just, I don't know why, but like this is, this sentence is hurting me. It shouldn't be, though. Of what? The dice I can use the dice phone. app on my phone. I can use the Pokedex. What do you think, Nikita? Are you up for it? Isn't that the nerd game about swords? No. Yes. It's very fun. I think you'd enjoy it. Nikita. Yeah, you can be a huge nerd. My character's Glimmer Spark, the Wrath Thief, but I guess I'll be the Fungin Mistress today. <laughs> fungin the Fungin Mistress! mistress. <laughs> I'll play as my Sheepling Psyker, oh, Aurora God. Moon Eye. I think I already told you about all of them before, Trixie. <laughs> Why does she specify gay friends? If everyone is a gay friend, then nobody is a gay friend. <laughs> the Land of the Gays. Sure, they sounded super cool. Nikita, what do you want your character's name to be? Um. Um. Um, Nikita. Nikita, you're allowed to use your imagination here now. In fact, it's encouraged. My character's name is Nikita. Nikita. Oh, N I K E E T A. You know what? That's good enough. She's she's a deer. She's she's a scholar. I put all her skill points into a. Uh, what are the intelligence skills? Um, intelligence, I suppose, and library use. Definitely not charisma in your case. I put all skill points into those. She wears my clothes, but middle ages style. <laughs> I know these exact kind of people. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Hi, Cat's here. Hi, Cat, say hi. Hi, it's me. Hello. Hi, Cat is Charlotte. Charlotte is hi, Cat. Charlotte, me, hi, Cat. It's hi, Cat, me, me Charlotte. <laughs> I'm gonna meet myself. You're really stepping out of your comfort zone here, Nikita. Th oh, thank you. Let's start. On your journey through the wild lands of Angmamar, you meet a sullen farmer. Hail, farmer. What hast thou so glum? She shakes her head sadly. A great evil haunts this here land, and there is naught that us common folk can do to end it. For a where sheep prowls these fields, preying on our flock, our children, and our gems. That is sad. New to hear. The, oh, I, I get it. That is sad news to hear thou strain oh this is ridiculous how can you pretend to be a magic wizard or whatever you can't just make up sentences what does that even mean ah oh, Nikita it's okay to feel awkward at first you just need to get into it <laughs> what does your character have a Scottish oh damn it hold on you gotta go back you gotta yeah. go back <sighs> let me just uh that is sad news to hear thou strange <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can do a magic <laughs> wizard or whatever. Can't just make up sentences. What does that even mean? It's okay. Oh, Nikita, it's going to go awkward. At first, you need to get into it. What is your character of a... Wait, it's Scottish. It's Scottish? Scottish. Scottish accent? It's like, it's like... This is like not China levels of world building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, want, I sure want some Heaven's Mandate chicken. <laughs> I want to have a dynamic with the deer character where she sees me smoking on my couch and gets annoyed with me for being the bum, but also is strangely captivated by me. <laughs> what a fucking I like how you hate the plot, but simp for the drawings. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. God. That is the correct answer. It's my backwards yokel voice. I usually use it to make fun of you behind your back. Fuck. Just follow my lead, Nikita. Good farmer, fear not, for me and my companion Nikita shall put an end to this foul creature. Yes! Also, I, just... I will slay the gremlin? <laughs> I forgot what was happening. <laughs> Where's sheep? Yes, that. What were we going to say? Uh, I'll, I'll let you know whenever uh, my character comes back up. Yes, that. Oh, thank you, strangers, but beware, the were-sheep is dangerous. Just last week it devoured two other adventurers who set out to exercise it. I pray that you shall not be so unfortunate. I'm, this is turning into number 15, the evil were-sheep. <laughs> okay, so something I just noticed that I really like about Tabby's design. Yeah. Look at her tail. It's got, like, sparkles on it. Yeah, she has, like, a paintbrush tail. I noticed that. It's really, really pretty. Fear not, friend. We are no hapless adventurers. Oh, thank you, kind travelers. You had best watch out, nonetheless. Blood-frenzied beasts are not to be underestimated, and this beast is more blood-frenzied than most. No, it isn't, Trixie. It isn't real, you silly girl. Can my character just go to the library instead and write that essay we have due next week? Oh my god. Oh, um, I suppose. Could you, could you say that in character? My character goes to the library to write that essay we have due next week. Could you roll for library use, please? Tabby, roll for library use for me. I rolled a pair of dice on my phone. Nikita got pretty low result, but her library use skill is so high it didn't really matter. Oh, uh, GB is asking about the Charlotte. Oh, um... How did the combo with your parents go? Uh, it went better than it could have gone. I'll say that. Better than expected, but worse than hoped. Basically. That's I, that's like usually the meme answer for things like that, but the fact that that is the answer in that situation. Hey, Charlotte, when uh, air your family problems on air. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a th like you were talking about that in chat recently. I, I I was. So that's you. Don't worry. It's, everything's fine. I rolled a paradise on my phone. You pass. That fucking sound effect. That was like the generic sparkle sound effect. That was like a stock sparkle sound effect. Okay, so you successfully complete your essay. Well done, Nikita. I, I mean, Nikita. Thank you, Trixie. 
You know what, Tabby? Maybe we can play this another time. I don't think this is really working out. Sure, Trixie. I probably shouldn't be wasting my phone's battery anyway. Did you have fun, Nikita? Yes. <laughs> Yay. So, what's next on the sleepover agenda? Rock fight. Are we going to look at the, the other one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Escape. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not Luckily actually... for Charlotte, she has a friend who is cursed to have the appearance and mannerisms of a suburban dad, despite being only 22, who can fill in for a father figure. <laughs> wow. Nikita, why don't you tell a spooky story? Also, yeah, Sleepy Jeff is like my coworker. I know them in real life. <laughs> Nikita, would you like to tell a spooky story? You never know. You might enjoy it. I don't like stories, and more importantly, I don't know any. Then make one up. It's funny. It's funny. It's fun. I suck at making up stories. Ugh, okay, fine. I have a true scary story. It's gonna be us. Oh, it takes place last week. Did you run out of toffee? Shut the fuck up, Trixie. This is an actual scary story. It began in the university library late at night, 2 a.m. I was alone. As usual, the lazy students of Bluebell University had once more gone to bed with little regard for their academic futures, and even the staff had left, trusting me not to steal anything. Oh, I just realized she's wearing a fucking, like, ribbon. Yeah, she's a fucking nerd. Miss Perovsky, you're uptight and stuffy. We trust you not to steal anything. If you mind, do you mind if we leave you here by yourself, they said to me. Of course I took this as a compliment and agreed. Far too excited by my copy of Blue Hills County Sheep Festivals to care. I studied for some time when there was a sound, uh, at the window beside me. I almost yelped in surprise. I peered through the window. But there was nobody there! And then, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, I thought this is not saying anything. <laughs> and, and, and then what? What do you mean? It was fun. What happened next? Nothing. That, that was the end of the story. Oh. Well, that was very scary. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Nikita. Don't patronize her, Tabby. I hate to say this, but I agree with Trixie. Oh. Also, I, I really like Tabby's character design. Her dress is really pretty. It it looks incredibly. I God, I know people who wore shit like that in high school. My I, every single time I that I that now what the fuck? Every time that I it, every time that I saw one of the dresses with like the weird carnation frills on it, I was like, that has to get like so much dust and shit in it just all the time. Anyways, I want that dress. Is what I'm saying. So rock fight, you... rock fight. No. I don't take part in fights with Lily. My ear still hurts after the one I got in last year. Aww, poor Nikita. I always forget about your ear. Oh, she has a... Oh, she does. You should see the other girl. I had to assert my library dominance somehow. Your, your what? <laughs> library dominance. I don't like how smug you looked when you said that. Violence isn't the answer. Violence is always the answer. What should I say? Um, let's fill the coin. Do you have a coin? Uh, I have a guitar pick that doesn't have a, a face oh, up. Oh, oh, what if we put it up to a chat vote? No, that's, that's this seems like such a nothing thing to put a chat vote up to. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I have a quarter. Hold on. I have a... Uh... What year is this? I have a yearless quarter. It has a bayou on the back, and it has a... George Washington on the front. Alright, heads or tails? Actually, no. Okay, it, so it heads, heads for the first top. one, tail, tails is for the second one. Alright, uh, tails. Oh, dear. Valence will always get you what you want, Nikita. <laughs> it has so far. Jeez, I never thought I'd say this, but being trapped in a moly tomb is kind of boring. Were you expecting a cafe, a gift shop, some free Class A drugs? 
Barrows aren't famous for their wide range of activities, Trixie. There were some skeletons we could play xylophone on their rib cages. <laughs> Put all the teeth together in a bag and use them as a maracas. Good thinking, Trix. Oh my god. I can't. Hold on. Oh. Why are you too obsessed with touching skeletons? It's weird. I don't like it. Skeletons are best ignored. We could start a band. Three lesbians and a barrow. Name drop. I mean, I'm, I'm technically bi. I kind of like boys. I mean, in theory. <laughs> Not even a lesbian. I'm an academic. What I'm does that academic. mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? I'm losing my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those are mutually exclusive, Nikita. I'm an academic with lesbian characteristics. <laughs> I'm not sure one lesbian, one bisexual, and one academic with lesbian characteristics in a barrow would fit on a shirt. <laughs> Everyone knows that bisexuals aren't real, or so people have tried to. <sighs> oh my god. I suppose three lesbians a barrow does work better, huh? I don't want a shirt. I never even agreed forming a band. You don't even play any instrument, Trixie. She plays you like a fiddle. Holy shit. Excuse me? Oh Excuse my God, the me? That's not for a band. Aww. I'd like to be in a band with you, Tabby. Or a club or a gang. Anything, really. You're, like, fun to hang out with and stuff. Aww, <laughs> oh, thanks, Trixie. Mustache like Cash Dash. I forgot about Mustache Cash Dash. Man, now I miss regular show. Also, sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> it's fine, I read the whole thing. It's a shame we didn't start spending time together until recently. I had worried you might be lonely last year. I didn't want to pressure you into socializing as all. Eh, I made some friends during summer. Like Nikita? No, not me. No, some grown-ups. You're well, in college, you are a grown-up. I mean, they have jobs, which basically makes them grown-ups. <laughs> Not like us, trapped forever in big girl school. Right. We should hang out more, though. You're super cool, and it's fun hanging out with you. Besides, the whole trapped in a barrow part, that part sucks. Oh, you know what? I'm putting my earbuds in and going to sleep. I'm not listening to Trixie try to flirt anymore. I'm not... Good night, Nikita. Shout if you need us for anything, okay? <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> <laughs> I worry about that girl. It's like she forces herself to be prickly. You can say a bitch. I don't call people that, Trixie, and then don't be so hard on her. Uh, and she isn't so bad, she just struggles with other people. She holds herself to be impossibly high standards, and if she doesn't have complete control of everything she worries, she'll never meet them. She doesn't have total control over other people, so she gets nervous and feels the need to prove herself better than them. <sighs> on one hand, I like Tabby. On the other hand, I hate people who say shit like this. Who, like, feel like they completely understand someone. I like psychoanalyze people. Yeah. I wish we could get her to open up and feel more secure. Huh. Or she's just unnaturally horrible and gets off on having power. <laughs> I know you two had your breakup or whatever. Try not to hold that against her. How did they even, like, attempt to have a relationship? There's no way I could see that going well. Wait, we had a what? Excuse me, what the fuck, Tabitha? Me and Trixie have not had a breakup. There was never anything to break up. Yeah, there was never anything to break up. I didn't even see what she said. She said, Nikita, didn't you go to sleep? She said, like, the first part of this name. <laughs> I may have pretended to go to sleep so I could listen and see if you two talked about being behind my back. As usual, my paranoia has been vindicated. It's just, you do keep being real coy about Summer. I kind of assumed maybe you two had a thing, which would totally be okay. Cute, even. Well, we didn't. Stop asking about it. It's the past now. Me and Trixie, we are nothing to each other. 
Certainly she is nothing to me. Dang, Nikita, that probably would have really hurt if it didn't feel the same way about if I didn't feel the same way about you. Girls, please. Girls, girls! I wanna go to sleep. Then go to sleep, Nikita. I'm starting to think that none of these furry drivings have a thing for burnout bearish software tabs. <laughs> Jeez. You don't know. You haven't met them in this horrible hell barrow. I shall. And no spying this time. Fine. I shall put my earbuds in for... Fine. I shall put my earbuds in for real this time. And good night, Nikita. Good night, Nabitha. Trixie. We sat in silence for some time as Nikita settled to sleep. As much as I enjoyed their company, I was glad for some peace. Her and Trixie were exhausting to spend time with. Can you hear this? Are you like snipping some scissors? Yeah, I have scissors. Sorry, I was, I, I was, I was trying to move them, and I was like, I wonder if people can hear that. So then I didn't. All right. Oh God, I wish Tabitha would psychoanalyze me. <laughs> Nikita, are you asleep for real this time? No! I live forever! I hope so. I want to make fun of her new student president's leaflets. If she was awake, she would have yelled at you by now. That was a clever trick, Trixie. That was clever trick. Ah, that was a clever Trixie trick. How many tricks oh could Trixie God. trick if Trixie could trick tricks? Oh, I mean, that was genuine. Oh. Are they, you know, the usual stuff? She refers to herself as a benevolent dictator, but not without wrath. Oh. Three times. In the About Me section. I mean, that doesn't really surprise me. Hmm. It's not that surprising. I, I don't get on with her. She doesn't make it easy. You don't really try. Hey... I feel like I'm kind of justified to be rude to her because, you know, she's kind of a jerk to me. And, like, she tried to kill me for a few months back, so I feel I'm justified in being a little bitchy with her. Is she tried to what? Uh, I mean, metaphorically, with insults. I probably should have phrased that better. I'm just really tired, haha, <laughs> what can I say? I'm a rat. No, I, I meant she was just super mean to me a while back, more so than normal, a real jerk. With a knife. Oh. Pride month is over. It's time for wrath month. <laughs> <sighs> Trixie, I've been looking at you a lot recently. Since we started hanging out, I mean. What? Why? Not in a creepy way. It's just... <laughs> I demand sloth month. <laughs> At first, I couldn't quite work out what was so enamoring, what was enamoring me so, but I just realized. Are those your... Oh, Esther Dial patches on your ear. <laughs> oh. Trixie is trans. <laughs> yeah, they are. Trixie's trans, Trixie's Old trans. Old faithful and little tricks, I call them. I was just wondering, because... Well, usually people put them on their hips, or their butt, or waist, or whatever. You do know that, right, Trixie? Those are meant to go below your waist. Oh, uh, what? I knew that. No, see, it's fine. My doctor says it's fine. He's a trained professional, haha. <laughs> he said that I have to, I'm a rat. I have rat needs. Ears. <laughs> I have rat ears. They said the ears are the hips of the rat. It's true. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, well, I didn't know that. So this not only implies that Trixie is trans, but also that they're, like, um, doing this under the radar or not at a licensed professional. Oh, I, I assume, yeah. like, they're, they're ordering it off of online. At least I think. I think it does. You're an interesting rat, Trixie. <laughs> Why? Well, you think? Sure, I love learning about my friends. Friends? Sure, we hang out a bunch, right? 
I suppose we do, huh? Which is cool. Kind of wanted to be friends with you all last year, but I was always scared to ask. I assume you'd not want anything to do with me until you asked me to be your partner in archaeology class. Which was nice. Why did you think I didn't want anything to do with you? We messaged each other loads, remember? Oh god, these sound effects are scary. Actually, that's a good question. You're clever, cool, caring, and pretty. You have all those great qualities. You're kind of inspirational. I even picked this shirt because it matched your fur dye. <laughs> I'm just kind of a boring loser. That's not true. Don't say these things. And I smell kind of funny too, I think. That I can't judge for. I think rats just smell funny. I think that's just a fact about rats. You smell normal, Trixie. <laughs> Try not to latch on to be too hard, Trixie. Oh, let's, let's do the first one. I don't want to be mean to her. You smell... Oh. You smell normal, Trixie. And I'm sure that's not true. But there's lots of interesting stuff about you. You just haven't spoken to me about your life much. Is it trans flag on her backpack? Oh, yeah. It's, it's really oh, hard to see. Oh, there is. It's I really didn't even small. That. You smell normal is my go-to flirt. <laughs> Huh? I mean, maybe? It's kind of a long, gray story, though. Well, we're trapped in a barrow for goodness knows how long. So I say there's no time like the present. Huh. Well, I suppose the first finding of my life was when I was hospitalized because I'd eaten 10 kilograms of sand. Oh. <laughs> how? How do you eat 10 kilograms of sand? So yeah, it turns out I'm actually very horny for monsters. How does a story start with eating 10 <laughs> kilograms of sand and ends at that conclusion? I'm gonna save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks for sharing. 10 kilos of sand, you know how much sand that is? Hold on, I'm gonna look up how much 10 kilos of sand is. 10 kilos of sand. Beach sand, one kilometer, weight to liters converter. Hold on. I, I want to see how much 10 kilos of sand is. How much is a kilo? Okay, 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 okay. So 50, 40 kilograms is like the average size of like a big cat litter bag. So a fourth of a big cat litter bag is 10 kilos of sand. That's really big. Oh, well, thanks for sharing. <laughs> Can we pretend I didn't say that? Y yes, let's. Are you okay, Trixie? You're shivering. Oh, I'm fine. It's just getting kind of cold in here. It has... it has, hasn't it? Brr. Brr. That's weird. It's pretty warm in here earlier. It's that bog fog. Maybe we should get close. There's mysterious crunching noises. D did you hear that? I I yeah. What the f... Uh, Nikita? Is that you? Is everything okay in there? It stopped. Nikita, you okay? Ah, it's so silly. It's, the, 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 it's so silly. Earplugs. She can't hear us. The train's coming. Oh God! <laughs> she's wearing ear AirPods. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. She probably was just rolling about in her sleep. Poor girl is probably stressed. The rocks got hungry and began to eat Nikita. Let's get some sleep. We have another busy day tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, Tabby. Sleep well, Trix. Bog creature. Bog creature. <laughs> There's just a zombie munching Doritos in the corner. Hello, can you hear me? Ah! Ah! Uh, Nikita, you woke us up. Yelling at this time in the morning. The nerve. How the heck are you somehow more shrill than my alarm clocks? 
So have you two finished making out with each other yet? What? No, we weren't. Nikita, are you alright? Huh? What? For Tabitha, Trixie, I'm fine. What are you on about? There was noises in there while you were asleep. Didn't you hear them? Uh, hold on, I gotta turn Spire music down. It's, so, it's a little loud. Alright, I've turned Spire music down. I was wearing military-grade earplugs, Tabitha. Of course I didn't hear anything. But there was something in there with you. It sounded like something walking around. Oh. That, um... I... Uh... Okay, look, don't tell anyone this, but sometimes at night I... Oh, jeez, I don't want to know where this is going. I get up and wander about. I once wrote an entire essay about 1300s Damiscan art in my sleep. I didn't even study for it. It wasn't actually assigned work. My subconscious just did it for fun, I guess. Oh, I suppose that would explain the noises. You sounded pretty frisky, though. I sometimes dance as well. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck you both. <laughs> hey, there's no judgment here, Nikita. What happens in the barrow stays in the barrow. A barrow party is the best kind of party, but because a, a barrow party never stops till everyone's dead. I sometimes speak in my sleep. I tell prophecies. None of them have come true yet, but that doesn't mean they're wrong. That's scary. I mostly just have nightmares where I'm naked in the shopping center and everyone's looking at me and I'm crying and shoveling sand into my mouth! <laughs> oh my fucking god, I love this character so much. <laughs> crying and shoveling I sand. No I one like Tabby the most. I no one asked Trixie. <laughs> Dreams can be prophetic too, Trixie. Fuck, I hope Trixie's dream isn't. Uh, did you two sleep okay? I sure didn't. We should get on with escaping. I'm gonna ask this one. That reminds me, did you two sleep okay? I sure didn't. I had the most horrible dreams. Though, weirdly, I don't actually remember any of them. I guess this creepy pla- I- <sighs> I almost read that as creepy pasta. I guess this creepy pasta is getting to me. <laughs> yeah. You never should have or eaten perhaps, the scary spaghetti. Or perhaps it's the lunar interference. There's been a lot of that lately, especially around Wilton Rose Lake. This freaky fettuccine is too much. This, uh, scary shizili. That's a pasta, right? I don't know. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. That place sucks. My friend Bell took me there in the summer. I had bad dreams. Let's not talk about it. Oh no! Oh no! Sending good vibes your way. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> I had bad dreams too. Can I get some vibes? Some good ones, sure. Shit! I didn't pack my itcher teammates with me. I meant to take a. F Finistrade tablet every morning, and I need to change my patches. I haven't missed it. Oyst oyster. It's just estrogen. That's just like the oh. European way of spelling it. We oh, it's like color instead of color. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't missed an estrogen dosage in months. What happens? Will I die? Turn into a boy? Will my tail fall? <laughs> I should have paid more attention to the doctor. You won't die from missing a day or two off HRT, Trixie. Don't worry. Oh no, she's lost the titty skittles. Oh no. At most, you'll just feel kind of shitty. Oh, I mean, I'm used to that. I'd let you use some of my anti-androgens, but I didn't pack any either. What a dummy I am. Are I, they all trans? I, yeah, I get, maybe. I don't even, I guess, is that another trans medicine? Yeah, anti-androgens. Oh, you think that's bad? I forgot to bring extra chewing gum with me. <laughs> gum? Nikita, I offered you some gum last year and you got all weird and told me gum was a dirty habit for dirty people and then you snarled at me. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Ta oh. 
I want to read that line. Hold on. Time change, Tabitha. Ever since I read the... C the c something. <clears throat> As of recent, I have been driven low. I have started chewing gum to help me deal with my stress. Does she smoke? Do you think Takita smokes? Hmm. I don't think it seems in character for her. Well, it's good you're... It's good you're looking after your mental health. At least she hasn't been driven a drink. Yet. Though if I don't find anything to chew on soon... Well, it doesn't bear thinking about. Anyway, you two better get working digging me out. I, I, she totally is about to start nick fitting. She, she absolutely is a smoker. There's no way. Chop chop. Literally, in Tracy's case, she keeps slacking. Also, I like Tabby more that now that she's trans. I identify more with her. <laughs> I'm gonna save. Er, 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 er. Turn. Yes, this is correct. Okay, what should I do? Dig or read? Um, that's up to you. <sighs> Nothing for now. Honestly, let's dig. We just did a lot of reading. Okay. Dig! There we go. That's at least one less rock on the pile. Wow, well done. Now hurry up and get me out of here. And thanks for being grateful, Nikita. I'm starting to think she doesn't want to be rescued. Jeez. Dig! We can just keep digging? I guess we... Maybe I'd say, like, that's enough digging for today. Phew, this is hard work. Phew, this is hard work. Thanks for reading my fucking line for me. <laughs> you know, here. Phew, this is hard work. For real. Want to take a break? Kind of want to take a nap. Ooh, tempting. Excuse me! Oh, alright. Sorry, Nikita. I think my mind's starting to wander. Ugh, you two will be the death of me. Possibly literally. Dig! I think I need a break for now. Okay, can I, like... Should I, like... Can we read? Part 3. The end of the Copper Wars. I think I need a break for... Oh, can we all... So we can only do two things a day. Oh. Uh, I see. I guess we can just, like, dig and read something every day. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Alright. Continue? This is like the Smash Brothers when you get knocked out in Smash yeah. Brothers 64. Phew. This is hard work. Hold on, I gotta get this, like, label out of here. It's, squeak it's squeaky. How are you doing, Nikita? Shit. Ah! I'm so bored. I bought a book with me, but I'm not really in the mood to read. It's too dark anyway, and my eyesight's pretty crummy. Too much time online, I guess. Maybe I'll give it a read. Is that okay, Trixie? Sure. Hey, we could start a book group. A group of just us two. That might be fun. Is... oh. Gosh, it is pretty boring here, huh? It sure is boring around here. I wonder what Gan ends up to. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. Renegade Gamer says, these characters need to fuck each other already. But then I guess This is banned. a safe for work visual this novel. Is a There's no fucking in this. Yeah, this allowed. game is safe to stream. Yeah. I'll have to do something extra fun once we're out to make up for it. Goodness knows what, though. There is no time. Your sword is enough. What about a... Uh, boneless? Tabby, how would you like to hang out sometime? Some win? Would you like to hang out some win? We could uh, maybe go get... um, Milk. <laughs> milk. Shake. Milkshake together. <laughs> So, oh god, Hold. my vote for for the second option. Er, er, er. Don't have to. Was that you trying to ask me on a date? Sure, I love hanging out with my friends. Oh, we can friend zone her. That'd be so mean. That would be mean. I'm busy, forever. Why are we gonna go with option two? Was that you trying to ask me out on a date? What? No. No, of course. Not, I mean, no way. 
I just meant as a friend, going on a friend trip with my friend to the friend shake place. <laughs> Milkshake place. The friend shake. <laughs> I mean, that's okay if it was. Okay, then. Milkshake date? With me, Trixie? Would would you like to? I mean, if you want to, like, don't feel pressured or anything, obviously, I just... Trixie, Trixie, it's fine. What's the harm in it? <laughs> she, she's a fucking <laughs> bottom. She key smashed verbally. I can't believe someone key smashed in real life. <laughs> Are you okay, Trixie? You sound like you're hyperventilating. <laughs> I'm fine, sorry. I've never gone on a date before, and I don't even know if I enjoy them. Only one way to find out. Throws you head first into the milkshake machine. No, I don't want to be a milkshake! Yo, 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 yo! Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish the cave had killed me. It still can. If we push on these rocks hard enough. Well, I'm glad you two are having fun in there. Don't worry about me sitting here by myself. Alone. As usual. Uh, are you okay, Nikita? It's okay to want to spend time with your friends. I went on a date once and I was only depressed for six months afterwards. Yeah. Oh, no. no, that, yeah, that sounds, yeah. No, that's, that's hashtag mood fam. I fucking hate dates. Dates suck. Especially when they're, like, explicit. Let's go on to a date at fancy restaurant place. I want to go on a date. I've never been on one. They're much more fun when they're spontaneous, but th that implies that you're, like, with someone, you know? Like, though, I think the worst part about dating someone is, like, the initial bit, if that makes sense. Because, mm -hmm. like, like, it's fun when you're like, yeah, we're dating. Like, just literally calling someone like, hey, do you just want to do something stupid? Like, walk around Target? Those are the best kind of dates, but... But, like, the pre-planned ones like, of, like... Hello, me, me, I, I am calling you up... Behind the in Denny's at 6 p.m. I am calling you up in an attempt to ask if you want to get delicious chicken at the chicken spot. Well, let me look at my schedule. I have looked at my schedule. These two times work. Neither of those times work. We're breaking up G now. <laughs> G-Food, when we first meet up, were you taking me on a date for the first time? G food, G, G food. Charlotte can't hear me right now. G food, you gotta say, you gotta say, super tasty, ultra delicious chicken that Charlotte will like. Place. Com. Honey, I can hear you. No. <laughs> I don't have any friends. You know that full well, Miss Knight. You've got us, right, Tranks? Uh, I really don't. You could come with us and get a milkshake if you like. Once we get out of here, I mean. If Trixie doesn't mind, that is. Nikita? On our date? I mean, I suppose if you want her to. It would be a disaster, though. You know what we're like. Aw, oh, Trixie, I'm sure it'd be fun. Three-way milkshake date. Three-way milkshake date. No. No way! I'm going to sleep. Have a nice nap, Nikita. Mm-hmm. Maybe when you wake up, you'll feel... He'll feel up for a milkshake. Are you gonna conjure one in this room? I yeah. doubt it. Wait, did it just get cold in here or am I actually dying? Ugh. If you two are the only people around my deathbed, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Hmm, it has gotten cold. I don't understand why she hates Tabby. Tabby's been nothing but nice. I don't know. Oh no, remember last night? It's fine, Trixie. It's probably just cold outside. Well, I don't like it. You two need to go jam your clothes under the door or something. I'm not taking my clothes off for you, Nikita. Go cuddle a rock or something. <gasps> the munching and crunching. Are you okay in there, Nikita? Uh, so the premise of the game, GB, is that we're on, like, a college assignment to do archaeology in, a in like, a literal, like, Nord Barrow, I guess. That kind of equivalent of structure. And then uh, someone karate kicked a rock and it did a sweet backflip and hit a stone ceiling and then a, a door closed and then that happened again. So now we're trapped in a barrow and one of our classmates is trapped further in the barrow and there's like a bog zombie, I think. A bog zombie? Yeah. Nikita? Miss Perov's... Per I can't read that. Miss Perovskia? Miss Perovskia. Per 
Perovskia. I am Jesus Count. Christ. I am Count Dracula of Holachia. Since when did you call Nikita by her surname? I thought she might like it. She always calls me Tabitha or Miss Knight, right? So you get killed by the bog zombie? I don't like this tabby. N no, me neither. Are, are you okay, Trixie? You're shaking. I'm shivering. I don't like the cold. Also, I'm super frightened. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like Would a you hug, like Trixie? A hug. It'll be okay. We need to give her a hug. Do the hug. Oh no, I missed! Oh, I hit exit game! <laughs> <laughs> Let's save real quick. Oh. No. Oh. I don't really do hugs, <laughs> sorry. I didn't even get to like read past the- oh. No worry, as long as you're okay. I'm kinda not, but I appreciate the offer. You know, I hate to say it, but like, I hope Nikita's okay. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's just been killed by a bog zombie. She's tough. She can look after herself. I, I don't hear anything. Hey, Nikita, what's happening? God, I love her dress. And her tail. There was someone in here with me. I think it was... I think it was... Him. Everot. Please just get me the fuck out of here, you two. I'll go with you on your stupid date, I promise. Just get me out. Wait, I never agreed to- NOW! Please, I'm actually scared, and you know how hard it is for me to admit that. We should take Nikita out, this is serious. It might be too late for that. I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like that spell might be the only way to buy us enough time to save Nikita. A spell?! St fuck spell! Stop wasting time and just stick with your hands! You both know there's something weird going on here. The runes? The warning outside, the note paper, this place is evil. We need to use a spell. There might be there might not be time for anything else. Oh my god. You heard what Nikita said. Someone was in here. Tell me you believe me. The spell is real. Everett time dust is real. Uh, I believe you? Uh, I thought I was done with this crap. You really need to tell me what happened during the summer tricks. I think there's a prequel to this game, by the way. Is there? That that this is alluding to. That or there's like a, a game before this one. It's either a prequel or it's like a previous one in the series. Because I, I, I bumped into it when I... <laughs> I... Is that the fucking authors criticizing their own game? I, this has to be it. Right now, I mean, it's kind of a long story. Lots of bad pacing, plot holes, and boring scenes that just kind of meander around and don't really go anywhere. And some of the dialogue, whew, is pretty clunky. Not that this is any better. <laughs> wow. I didn't mean right this second. We need to focus on getting out of here. Right. Of course. With Nikita, you mean? Obviously with Nikita. This might be my last chance to get... Excuse me, I had to like LaCroix Bert for a second. <laughs> this might be my last chance to get to gather any information that might help me cast that spell. I better make it count. Oh god, okay. Um So oh god, what do I read? Um Let's read the bird thing. The, this, the this. weaved thing. No 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 no. The the like the weaved thing. That <laughs> yeah. Weaved in the weaved. Oh, go ahead. Well, okay, we already read this, though. Oh, did we? Oh, we did. Fuck. I mean, this doesn't count. They who first weave the ritual. First unite on three. This one is the one who... Okay, so we learned that name. I think we just need to read more history. We know what... We know an element. So... I'm guessing... We should probably read this part again. Maybe. Because this gave us part of it. Read. The end of the Copper Wars and the Imperial Invasion. With the Copper Wars coming to a close with the newfound prominence of the Davidil clan, South Angela fi fi and Anglia finally started stopped fighting. This peace was short-lived. Emperor Adamantum Aurumaline of Mediterranean Empire... Wait, Mediterranean... Yeah, okay. Empire landed on the south coast of Anglia some 40 years after the Copper Wars ended. A game I saw I conquered, he famously boasted before even setting foot on land. 
It was this event that marked the beginning of the Mediterranean Empire's hold over Anglia. Imperial forces reached as far as South Gale, now Shotland, but were repelled by Daisy Blade Battlecry, the most feared warlord in the history of Anglia. Minus, perhaps, the infamous Wraithblade Dreadstar, the mouse warlord... <laughs> fucking names... <laughs> <laughs> who terrorized Blue Hill County during the early Middle Ages. Daisy Blade's war in the north would be so fierce as to drive the Imperial garrison as far south as the White Cliffs. It was here that they retreated from the Isles, leaving behind only scattered settlements and garrisons that soon integrated into the local populations. Daisy Blade had little interest in using her mighty army to control the Isles, now completely undefended, and instead returning home to her four wives, who had she reportedly missed terribly during her time away. <laughs> While there was no specific date, most historians put the end of the Anglo and Copper Age at the time of the Empress Empire's hasty retreat has left behind enough iron to end the demand for copper in Anglia. Hold on, Jeff, you can't just fucking say that in chat. What the fuck? Hold the on. The notorious warlord Cunnilingus battle axe. That's fucked up. That wasn't helpful at all. That Hornikita. was mine. Poor Nikita, I hope she's okay. That wasn't helpful at all. Poor Nikita, I hope she's okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Shit, okay. Also, don't you have like a DD &D game soon? Yeah, I should probably save. Hold on, I'm gonna like double check. I'm pretty sure it's like in two minutes, but I'm not sure. Alright, well, we can save and finish. Uh, we might need to go, we need to, we need to go back in time and undo some stuff. Like, not dig those rocks, just read shit. Yeah. But that's why well, we stagger fuck. saves. <laughs> we'll find out next time. Next time on Three Lesbians in a Barrow. Quick. Okay. All right. Hold on. I got to go to the break time screen. There we go. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining along with Three Lesbians in a Barrow. Uh, I guess we're going to do more of this because yeah, there's more of the game to do. So just next week then? Uh, either next week or like if, if I can't do it that day, we'll we'll pick another time pretty close to it. But yeah, if this time slot works, we can do that. Sure, and this works for me. Okay. Well, thanks everyone for being in chat, and thank you, Charlotte, for being a wonderful co-host, and thank you to the following folks. I'm probably just gonna be thanking you. <laughs> thank you, Sleepy <laughs> Jeff twenty three for the follow. Thank you, I can't for the gifted sub to Sleepy Jeff twenty three. And that's it for Thanks now. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I guess next week, uh, let's see, today's Saturday? I guess on Monday, more Neo, but I think that's it. Yeah, tomorrow, happy 4th. Everyone be safe. Don't let yourself on fire. Bye, everyone. Or let yourself on fire. It can be kind of funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, have fun, everybody.